Like a little boy eager to share his candy with friends, so were we when our team first learned about the first interstellar visitor. We rushed to release videos on what, why, and who the visitor really is. But that failed to impress our viewers. We then wrote a song and created an animated music video. However, because we are not scientists and we don't have a PhD next to our names, we failed to get your votes. I just read another CNN article and I have to say, I told you so. It is a follow-up article under Space and Science about astronomers have never seen anything like this before. It has many fascinating details about the interstellar visitor A2017U1, and it now has a fancy name called Omao Mao, which means a messenger that reaches out from the distant past. As you can see from this artist's creation, it is a long, rocky, cigar-shaped object with a burnt dark reddish hue. Scientists said the red was a result of cosmic rays, <laughs> but I think it is the Christmas color they picked for their spaceship. Scientists said it has a high metal content and spins on its own axis every 7.3 hours. I don't like to argue with scientists as they must be really smart from reading and studying so many books. But I often have problems with their interpretations. For example, they may assume we are not as smart because we are not PhDs. But maybe we are really smart to choose a fun life and leave the boring reading to them. Let's take a look at what they've learned and try to paint a practical picture of A2017 U1, aka Omaomao. After compiling images from countless telescopes, scientists realize that this is a cigar-shaped object. Its length is 10 times its width, and it spins on its axis every 7.3 hours. Before finding this object, the most elongated object found was three times longer than its width. The asteroid is too small to turn itself into a sphere because it does not have enough gravity. But it rotates so quickly and travels such long distances, it is hard to imagine how it maintains its slender figure. Maybe it was made this way. Because as I said before, it is a spaceship. And why does it spin like that? If it is indeed a spaceship, Maybe that is how they create the so-called artificial gravity. Astronaut are astronautufo. <laughs> I mean, the UFO in space would lose their bones and muscles during a long spaceflight. The easiest way to avoid the reduction in bone density is to create artificial gravity. Doesn't that make perfect sense? And why is it cigar shaped? Because that's how spaceships look. Look at the animation video we did. We don't need to be a scientist to draw a spaceship like that. The article stated that the object may have been traveling through our Milky Way for hundreds of millions of years without being attached to any star systems. It is the size of a football field. Let's think for a bit. This object travels at extremely high speeds, made a quick visit to our solar system, and then turned away. If it is just passing by, why would it make a turn like that? It should continue its path to infinity and beyond. Actually, I believe I made a very rational guess for why they came. They did not come for us, but they either had to check on us or stop for gas at our sun. In 2012, NASA's camera caught this object sucking energy from our sun. It is probably bigger than our Earth, and it stayed for 80 hours before taking off. I thought the object could be a small spaceship, but to protect it from the sun, it must turn on its shield when it gets closer to our sun. 
As we can see, the object clearly seems transparent, like a shield. Although we only have this 2012 video, which was widely circulated and reported by Main Street Medias, I'm sure it happens all the time. A lot of things happened in 2017. The CIA declassified many once secret documents. Actually, you can find this article about a remote viewing project they conducted in 1984. There were detailed descriptions about Martian lives in 1 million BC. I had two questions after reading it. One, if this project is pure fiction, why did the CIA keep it classified for so many years? And two, if this is not fiction, then what else have they kept from us? I know President Obama ordered the declassification of many secret documents, but I don't know why the UK also decided to release some of its top secret UFO files in June 2017, although some files were released earlier, 18 files were sealed. But now 15 of the 18 can be examined in the UK's National Archive. Earlier this year, I made a bold prediction in my Crop Circle video. I said, I think we will soon have encounters with entities previously unknown to us. Is that the reason why our governments finally decided to declassify the once top secret files? Knowing that we don't know enough to understand what they really mean, they put it out so we can't blame them for not sharing those with us. It is pretty incredible that our technology is advanced enough to find an object so small, moving so fast, and so far from us. I am sure this is just the beginning. We will soon find more objects like this and learn more about them. However, until we face the fact and open our minds, the scientists may just have to turn their blind eyes on and keep on calling spaceships cigar-shaped rocks. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.